Salesforce founder and CEO Mark Benioff speaks during the grand opening of the Salesforce Tower, the tallest building in San Francisco, California, Tuesday, May 22, 2018. Carl Mondan, Bay Area News Group, more than half of tech employees want their companies to take a stand against government work if it conflicts with company values, according to a new survey. A poll conducted by Blind, an anonymous workplace app, shows that 59% say they want their companies to take a stand, with 38% saying companies should cancel their government contracts and 21% saying companies should try to negotiate with government agencies. If responses from Microsoft employees had not been not included, the respondents who favored taking a political stand against government work would have been 63%. 41% of the 7,631 employees who took the survey said their companies should stay neutral even if government contracts conflict with company values. Ad Choice Advertising in Red Invented by Teeds The survey results come after a protest Monday at San Francisco-based Salesforce, which has faced pressure to cancel a cloud services contract with U.S. Customs and Border Protection amid outrage over the Trump administration's detention, deportation and separation of immigrant families at the U.S.-Mexico border. Salesforce CEO Mark Benioff tweeted the day before the protest, Salesforce always will be true to our core values. We don't work with CBP regarding separation of families. CBP is a customer. I'm proud of the men. During Monday's protest, activists wondered why Salesforce, which is known for philanthropy and has a reputation for speaking out about progressive causes, is not standing up for immigrants by cancelling its contract with the government. Get tech news in your inbox weekday mornings. Sign up for the free Good Morning Silicon Valley newsletter. Why is it that Salesforce would take a stand against anti-LGBT policies in Indiana but they will not take a stand for communities of color and the Latino community, asked Kevin Ortiz of the Latino Democratic Club, according to Fast Company. The action Monday in front of the new Salesforce Tower drew a few dozen protesters. We respect the right to peaceful protest, a Salesforce spokeswoman said Tuesday. Today and every day, Salesforce is committed to leading with our core values of trust, customer success, innovation and equality. Other tech companies have dealt with pushback from their employees about their ties with the U.S. government. For example, thousands of Google employees protested in May over Google's work with the Pentagon and concerns that the company's artificial intelligence could be used to improve drone strikes. Google later said it will not renew the Project Maven contract when it expires next year, and CEO Sundar Pichai vowed in newly drawn up principles that the company's AI technology would not be knowingly used for harm. Meanwhile, Microsoft employees have urged the company to sever its ties with immigration and customs enforcement. The company has a contract to provide ICE with Azure cloud services. The company said last month that it does not know of its technology being used in the separation of families at the border. The blind survey was conducted June 28 to July 8, with at least 50 respondents each from tech companies such as Facebook, Apple, Google, Amazon, Lyft, Adobe and more. Blind users engage anonymously on the app, but it requires users to register using their work email addresses, a spokeswoman said Tuesday. Users' company names are also attached to their activity on the app. Courtesy of Blind App 8 Quality Auto 360p 720p 1080p You might also like driver goes missing after car flips over in Rivervale, Straits Times judge considering short detention order for e-scooter. Straits Times air conditioning now finally affordable thanks to, newthingstoday.com What's drawing? Investors to Asian fixed income. Aliens Global Investors Chiropractors Baffled, Simple Stretch Relieves Years, Health News Tips. Today check out these savings on the Oppo R15 Pro with Starhub Limited Official Website Our New Allies I Do Little, Meghan Markle Starting to, MercuryNews.com After Grizzly Killing, Group Allegedly Spent Days, MercuryNews.com Santa Clara's Legendary by TH Bucket Destroyed by Fire MercuryNews.com Recommended by